All right, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video here on Free Will Photos. Today, yes, I'm in Adobe Bridge. Now, I am not changing from on one, but I am starting to use it more as a plugin instead of a standalone program. But the reason why I am inside of Adobe Bridge today is because I want to showcase a new program that Topaz is getting ready to come out with and it is called Photo AI. Now, what it does is amazing. So I'm just gonna show you. Now, I'm gonna demonstrate on this photo of my kids. Notice that there is a lot of noise inside of this image. Once the computer decides to catch up here, I'll show you that noise. All right, so here is my daughter's face, look at all of the noise that is in this image. And then if we come down here, same thing, lots and lots of noise, all right? All over on our sweater. And then if we come over into the t-shirt, lots of noise, you get the point. There's a lot of it. Now, what we're gonna do is right click on the photo in the film strip and then hover over open with and we'll scroll down to the very bottom here on my computer. At least it's at the bottom. And we're going to open with Topaz AI. All right. So here we are inside of the application. And as you can see, it zooms in to one to one. But look at how well it processes. Now, as I move around in the image, you can see the grain reappear. Now, when I let it go and Topaz is just known for how well it does. Um, I don't like the processing that it did on my daughter's face over here, but for an AI processing tool, just look at everything that it can do. The, the possibilities here are truly impressive and I didn't touch a thing. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the, a few of the controls. Uh, the AI autopilot is what's turned on right now. Now this is 100% automated. Uh, using uh, artificial intelligence in order to decide where to remove noise and how much noise needs to be removed. Now, if you are a more manual person, you have the opportunity to just turn this off. But before I do, I just want to go over what it does. So when it scans the image, it checks to see if it's in focus. And obviously green means that it's in focus. Uh, image noise level, it said that it was severe. So it used a severe artificial intelligence to correct for the noise. Uh, and then zero of two detected faces are low quality. So this means that both of these faces, they were in focus well enough. Uh, it picked it up and or picked up their faces and said, you know what? Those are good enough. We don't need to do any touches here. Um, and then this was a raw image. So that's all this bottom statement is saying now. As you come down here and you can see that it's just the only correction that it made uh, because anything that has a green check mark is where the correction is being made. And the only correction that it made was for the severe image noise. All right. Now, when I turn this off, you'll see uh, I get some options here, right now. It left the strength of the noise reduction, it left that intact. So if I was like, you know what, I think that it did a good job with that, but I want to add some sharpening, then I can just click on sharpen. It's going to re-render here in a little bit. And once it re-renders, you can see now it's adding in that sharpening. Now I'm going to zoom out to 71%, which is just to fit the photo inside the frame. Um, the only downside to this program is the fact that you have to wait for it to render multiple times. I think that's normal with Topaz uh, products. They tend to require some render time. And I think that's something that we can deal with uh, just for the ingenuity and the innovation that is happening here. Now, I don't really care for the sharpening, so I can close that. Uh, but let's see what Enhance does. So now is a good time for me to mention that in order to get this beta, you have to have Topaz, Denoise AI, Gigapixel AI, and Sharpen AI. 
This is also known as the image quality bundle. Uh, if you have that, then log into your account and you'll be able to download this. So forgot to mention that earlier on. Now, the enhance portion here, uh, if I were to click on, let's go with graphics, we'll see what happens here. I don't think that this is going to make uh, a bigger difference in the image. I think it looked great with the autopilot, but I really just want to kind of showcase some of the ideas that they're kicking around. Um, and this worked out pretty good. I'm not sure what this is doing to be entirely honest. All right. Uh, now the other portion of this, which this is not going to be an AI driven thing is you can resize your images. Now, if I wanted this to be 200% larger, all I have to do is type a two in there and it's going to resize this to be 200% larger. All right. And you can see that right over here. Now, I don't really care to have this uh, much larger, but if you need it to resize, it's available. And that's the point that I really wanted to make. This is extremely easy. It's effective. Uh, it's very, very powerful. And I didn't have to do anything to make this happen, right? Uh, I think this is the future of photo editing where we are going to see a lot more artificial intelligence making decisions. And they're doing a really good job. And then we'll have to come behind them and make those other edits now. I want to know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Is this something that you're concerned about with artificial intelligence in photography? Or are you more of a pioneer and, you know, you're like, OK, no, let's let's bring some AI into this. Uh, I think we accept it to a certain degree when it comes to some of our other AI tools. So is this too much, though? You know, Luminar Neo has a lot of AI built into it. But this is almost hands off work. We don't have to do anything. Is that what we really want to get to as photographers? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, now, to export this, all you have to do is hit this little blue icon. It's going to go through its whole imaging map and export this as a TIFF. And then it goes to the same place wherever your files are already stored. So just make sure you got room there. Uh, and maybe when this comes out of beta, maybe you'll be able to select a file location where you want that to be stored. Um, but as of right now, that is not an option. And here is the, the edited version of this particular photo. So as you can see, there is no more noise over her face as there once was on this image. So let me know what you think about this product in the comment section below. Until next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.